Hi friends, welcome to Engineering Clinic. In this video, we are going to see the installation of NS 3.361 in Ubuntu 22.04. So both operating systems as well as the NS 3.36 are new and this time uh, NS 3.36 have some changes. So they have removed the WAF system and included the CMake system. So slightly the compilation process is different as well as the running of uh, scripts also different. So uh, we will be seeing how to do the installation on NS 3.36.1. So since I didn't follow any uh, methods in their website, when I tried it, there was no WAF and even some of the comments also I received from my subscribers that the WAF is not existing. So instead of WAF, they have included something called as NS3. So you have to use hereafter dot slash NS3. So dot slash NS3 space run and name of the file. So likewise, we have to do it. So to start with the installation, first we have to give the sudo apt update. So first always uh, try this command sudo apt update. So once it is done, so the update package manager will be done. And uh, for your understanding, what I have given is I have just given all the packages it is uh, required to install the complete package of NS3. So you need not uh, um, need any other new software. So you can try installing all these things. So once the installation is done, so then we need to download the NS 3.36.1 from the nsnam.org website. So that is what we will be doing it now. So you will be downloading from their website NS 3.36.1. So please remember they have other older releases also. So those older releases you have to still they are following still the WAF system. So WAF system. But if you are comfortable with the new system you can always go with the new system. So NS 3. So then uh, finally you have to after downloading the package you just uh, unzip it or uh, com uh, decompress it to your home folder. So in my case the home folder is slash home slash Pradeep Kumar. So in your case just check out what is your home folder. So in the home folder you can just unzip this package. So you can extract this package. So you can right click over the file and extract and click extract to and give the location of the home folder. Uh, in case if you want to do in the command line mode. So I am just giving the command line mode as well. Uh, here directly. So the command is star jxvf ns all in one hyphen 3.36.1 dot r dot bz2. So once you give this command, uh, automatically the files will be extracted. So this way you can able to. So now our installation of the, all the packages is done. So then you can go inside the ns all in one 3.36 folder. Inside that you have to give the command dot slash build dot py double hyphen enable hyphen examples and double hyphen enable hyphen tests. So this is our usual command for installing NS3. So then uh, it will be taking some time for get test to install. So in my machine since it is an SSD it took around uh, 10 to 15 minutes. So if you are using a virtual machine or if you are using a hard disk drive the time might be taking more time. So in case in between if it is stops again you can uh, retry it. In virtual machine, if it is stop it, so you can increase the RAM uh, at least for the installation. Later on again, you can decrease the RAM. So that way you can able to install this process completely. So once it is done, so then we have to test the uh, script whether it is executing or not. As I already told you that the ex uh, script execution is something different from the previous versions. So we need to use the command called as NS3. So now the installation is done. So next we will be going inside the folder ns-3.36.1 where all the source files are available. So there we will be running a command uh, ns3 dot slash. So dot slash indicates the current directory. So in the current directory we have a executable file called as ns3. So you have to give ns3 space run and hello hyphen simulator. So hello hyphen simulator means this is to check whether your installation is successful or not. So in case if this command has to be executed, so you will get an output as hello hyphen hello simulator. So you will get an output. So once this output is there, then you have installed it successfully. So then later on we can able to test some network uh, scripts so that we will be able to do it. So now you are getting the output as hello hyphen simulator. So next thing is we will be testing on the networking script. So for example, we have an examples slash tutorial folder where we have first dot cc second dot third dot like that we have dot cc files and dot python files so you can copy those files to the scratch folder so as you all know that the scratch folder is uh, one folder where you can able to copy all the files for running in ns3 so similar procedure we can carry out here 
now once we run this command dot slash ns3 uh, run uh, first so for a dot cc file there is a c plus plus file you did not specify any extension but for python file you need to specify the extension so you can able to use this file so now you can see i am using a first dot py that is a python file so for this the command will be uh, dot slash ns3 run then scratch the name of the folder slash first dot py so that means you need to give the specify the extension of the file now we can check the output there so since first dot py and first dot cc uh, operation wise both are same but uh, one is written in python another is written in c++ so the command here i am just using is dot slash ns3 and scratch slash first dot py so all these commands i am just giving it below the description window as well as you can refer my blog as well so this is how the way we got the output so now uh, in the ns 3.36.1 onwards the old system of waf is removed and cmake system is been used for that we we have to use the command ns3 dot slash ns3 instead of dot slash waf so hope you might have liked this video so thanks for watching in case if you if your friends are interested please share this video to them also subscribe to my channel for more such kind of videos so thank you very much thanks for watching